Our countryside holds the key to tackling climate change. It's more than a backdrop. The wind, the sun and the tides could provide the majority of the renewable energy needed to power our country into a new, greener age. Our trees will absorb carbon, cleaning up our air for future generations. Yet countryside communities are often overlooked. Without local councils having the powers or resources to develop solutions in rural places, the UK simply won't achieve its 2050 net zero goal. So we decided to change this. UK 100 established the Countryside Climate Network last year, a group of 27 cross-party leaders creating a network spanning nearly half of England's landmass, a network that is totally unique on the world stage. Already, our countrywide members are leading the UK's journey to net zero. So we're here today at Venton Teague Wind Turbine, which is a Corbyn Council project as part of our commitment to being net carbon zero. This is a smart grid connected turbine providing power for 1,400 Cornish homes. There's an awful lot of creativity down here in Cornwall, whether that's around us using our deep geothermal power to help bring about the first deep geothermal Lido in Penzance, or about powering the Eden Project Biome. And that's why we were so keen to be the founding member of the UK 100 Countryside Climate Network because we do believe that rural areas hold many of the solutions. So we're currently stood in a field on the edge of the village. It's owned by the county council with a tenant farmer. And we're going to create our energy centre here and it will produce all the heat we need for our community energy project. We started this project as a fuel poverty project to really target non-gas communities like ourselves. Cambridgeshire County Council is very ambitious in terms of its aspirations for the environment, for sustainable living, and I think also very open to working with the community to do what communities want. UK 100 is incredibly important because local authorities do so much that is at the cutting edge of looking after our environment and making that change to more sustainable living. It's uh, housing and heating, but it's also transport and skills, um, green jobs, all of the rest of that is all within the remit of local authorities. Our rural leaders are making the most of the opportunities to create good green jobs, reduce carbon emissions and kickstart a green economic recovery. We are in Warminster Library and it's one of the buildings that we are now putting renewable energy into and making carbon neutral. So on this building, you've got three elements. We've put solar panels on the roof. They are here to power both the lighting system, but also to power the air source heat pump that we've put on to deal with the heating for the building and the provision of hot water. And then lastly, to reduce the energy output, we've put LED lighting systems in. In a rural area, these libraries are far more than just places where you have books. They are areas where we as a council can engage with our community. But we know we need investment in rural transport, sustainable farming, warmer homes and better broadband to bring our country closer together. So rural councils must become key government partners in the fight against climate change. Add your voice to our call and join us today. Together, we can lead the UK's response to net zero and build cleaner, more powerful communities.